Sounds like Mississippi had its berg. Welcome back to the First Produce Podcast. We're still in 2020, and yes, still in the midst of a pandemic. And just went through Hurricane Sally. Whew. Lots is happening in the world, but we got to keep on keeping on. So with today's episode, we're going to pick back up where we left off the singer-songwriters episode from season one. We did parts one and two. This will be parts three. Today I want to introduce Robert Humphrey or Robbie Humphrey out of Hattiesburg, Mississippi. I first met Robbie in high school. I think he was a few grades ahead of me and we seemed to rock similar styles and one day he saw me skateboarding after class and we just started talking about skateboarding and he was pretty uh, good at skateboarding himself. And uh, that was somewhere in the mid 2000s. We didn't really hang or anything, just uh, kind of knew each other. Now fast forward a little bit and in 2010 I was playing a f- uh, in a few bands and my buddy Jared Little, who I played in bands with, was like, hey, me and Robbie have a group, and we need a drummer. Now, I hardly turn down anything music, and especially when Jared was involved. So the band The Do Session was officially a three-piece. This is a sample of some demo song we did in my jam room. Uh, I was on drums, Jared was on bass, and Robbie was on guitar and vocals. I actually don't think this song is up anywhere, so I'm just going to play the full uh, song on here. So the song is called Stole My Jacket by The Do Session. And this is kind of introducing when I first started getting involved with music with Robbie. And heads up, this is a very crusty recording. I think I just had one mic, like a like a Walmart mic set up in the room, had it going through a mixer, and from the mixer to a laptop, and we recorded this crusty demo. Enjoy.
so that was stole my jacket about the do session uh that was in 2010 we recorded that and that was robbie on guitar and vocals and i love listening to really bad recordings because it really you can really hear the potential of the artist i think through a horrible recording and I don't know, I've just always been too into that, that raw sound. And it can be kind of hard to listen to when it's like all the frequencies are killing your ears. But, you know, it's just, it's just my thing. But real quick, wanted to give a time for a commercial break so you guys can see what else is going on with the Fresco page and the other podcast. So stay tuned. Hey guys, this is Jimmy from Fresco Recording Services telling you about a new podcast that we have called Emerald Radio. It's my chance to sit down with the local musicians, producers, and other music industry people and talk about our growing music community here in Pensacola, Florida. So check it out on the Fresco Recording Services YouTube channel. Thanks. From the staff here at WPMM Radio, we just want to take this time out and thank all the listeners, local and worldwide, for the love and support you have shown us at this station. We play more music. WPMM Online Radio. Uh, yeah, so picking back up on the story, um, I ended up leaving the band and Jared and Robbie actually kept going after I left and... It was awesome because they had made up for not having a drummer using like samples and building their own drum tracks. And I wish that I could show you guys a sample of what that sounded like. But those were on MySpace and the MySpace days. And I'm pretty sure it was part of what was deleted. Um whenever MySpace quote-unquote lost a ton of the music from their database. So, another fast-forward to about 2015. I don't really remember how Robbie and I got in contact again, but we did, and he came down to Gulf Shores and recorded a track that was just uh, guitar and vocals. And I don't really remember a whole lot about this session, except that he came down, and uh, I remember he saw I had a nylon acoustic guitar, so he picked it up and started playing the song, we were like, dude, that sounds perfect, let's use that. And I just had him double layer the, the acoustic track, and I think on one of the acoustic tracks, I put like a vibrato effect and also had him double layer the vocals and I think the song wasn't finished on the second verse so we just ended up fading it out um I started messing with some bird sounds in there and uh we were both kind of vibing to it so we just left it as is and I feel like I had a video for this but it seems like I don't have it anymore it was funny because at that time I had uh, my studio set up in my bedroom and I'd be in there recording till like 3 or 4 a.m. while Joanna was like knocked out. So the song he recorded that day was Help Me Save Me. This is a song I really wanted to highlight in this uh, Singer Songwriters Part 3 of Robbie because this shows Robbie's like creative music songwriting um side from scratch like uh I have some other stuff I'm going to talk about that he has done but this is just him and the guitar so you kind of see how he built this song and back then I used to like try to put effects on everything so this track is kind of like a little abstract but it, it it turned out pretty good And uh, so you're about to hear Help Me Save Me by Robbie Humphrey. Thank you. 
Yeah, it's funny listening back of like how I couldn't stand a track to just be plain and how to like add so many effects. I mean, it worked out and I'm definitely more open to things being more like clean sounding and and uh, it's just interesting listening back to stuff like that. But yeah, that was uh, Robbie Humphrey, Help Me Save Me. That was the acoustic song that he did. And so the I'm gonna I'm playing videos in the background and stuff uh for the YouTube. So the video that you're probably seeing is not the one I was talking about. This is from another time we recorded and I'll explain about that. So not long after we did Help Me Save Me, I came up to Hattiesburg and recorded a few sessions at a studio there and Robbie came to one of those because uh, at the time he was making instrumentals on GarageBand on his phone and dubbing guitars on them, which is uh, what you heard in the intro song. That was actually something that he built in GarageBand and played guitar over it. Over it. So I'll play the outro song with another. But yeah, uh, Robbie is super nice, super talented dude. And I reached out to him about me doing this podcast, so maybe... Uh, he'll have something new in the works, but it seems like we usually get in contact about every five years because everything I've showed you has been about five years apart. Uh, but yeah, so that's it. Want to thank you guys for the time you took to check out the podcast for letting me introduce Robbie and till the next episode, this is fresh produce and you're about to hear turn up by Robbie Humphrey. Also, anything that I can link will be linked below. Peace out. <laughs>